Adri and Allie. Today we're going to be reading you the, the candy can dish. Um, written by Kobe Amada. Illustrated by Andal Adelina Lirius. Um, from the author of a New York Times bestseller, What Do You Do With An Idea? If you have a copy, come read along with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, let's get started. Started. There was once a child who was like nothing the world had ever seen. So in this way, she was just like every other child. And one particularly memorable morning, she received an odd, odd, uh, odd little object. It was a simple oval dish with a welcoming little handle that just dared her to open it. The girl lifted the lid and discovered it was a candy dish. She picked up the piece of candy, looked at it, sniffed it, touched it with the tip of her tongue, and then popped it in her mouth. It was the most marvelous thing she had ever tasted. It was like a summer day, playfully running through the sprinkler, laughing, 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 while drops of water tickled her face. She devoured it quickly and immediately wanted more. But when the girl went to lift the lid again, it wouldn't budge. She tried harder and harder still. She pulled the handle with all her might, but it wouldn't move. She shook it. She twisted it. She tried prying it open. Still, nothing worked. She really wanted more. It was all she could think about. The girl couldn't see how lucky she was to have received the dish in the first place. Instead, she felt sorry for herself. Day turned to night and the girl fell asleep. In the morning, she woke up still thinking about how to get more candy. She knew she had tried everything that she could think of, and yet maybe there was something else she could do. When she went to pick up the dish, much to her surprise, the lid lifted off easily and inside was a spectacular n new piece of candy. She immediately popped it into her mouth. It was unbelievable, a new flavor like nothing she had ever tasted before. It was like joyfully rolling down a grassy hill with the wind tussling her hair and the world spinning by. And just like that, the candy was gone. She had to have more. The girl reached for the lid to get another. But again, it wouldn't open. This is maddening. Why is this happening? She complained. Uh, complained. Um, the girl was even willing to break the dish to get it open. She picked up a rock and slammed it down, but it just bounced off and rolled away. She was so upset that she hardly noticed or appreciated what she had been given. She could only think about what she didn't have. Once again, day turned to night, and the girl finally fell asleep. She woke up feeling defeated, and just seeing the dish made her even more so. She couldn't stand to look at it any longer, so she decided to get rid of it. But when she went to toss it away, as if by magic, the lid came off easily, and once again, there was a glorious new piece of candy. It was as if it was put there just for her. She picked it up and held it to the light. She noticed that simply by the way she looked at it, it seemed to sparkle and shine. She wondered if she ev had ever seen anything more beautiful. The girl placed the candy gently on her tongue and softly closed her eyes. Her lips curled at the edges. The taste, um, the taste was indescribable. It was familiar, yet brand new. It felt like a warm, loving hug, while at the same time, she was filled with joy and excitement, much like setting off on a new adventure. This time, she wanted to make it last. She rolled it around her mouth, delighting in the wonderful flavors and textures. She wanted to remember every bit of it. The girl wore a smile on her face, but also in her heart grateful for this amazing gift. As she grew older, the girl came to discover that each and every morning, a new piece of candy somehow wondrously appeared in her dish, and each one was completely and deliciously unique. 
she realized she didn't need more. If there were more, would she appreciate each one nearly as much? Would it be special or taste as sweet? The girl thought to herself, each day is much like this. Each day is a gift with a bit of magic. It is ours to enjoy, to taste, to experience. And because she didn't know how many candies were in that miraculous little dish, she savored each one of them as if it was her last. The, the end is the sweetest thing of all. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's book. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. She really wanted more. It was all she could think about. The girl couldn't see how lucky she was to have um, was to res ha <laughs> as she grew older the girl came to discover um, that each and every morning a new uh <laughs> it was unbelievable a new flavor like nothing she had ever tasted before it was like joyfully rolling down a grassy hill with the wind taz to tap tap <laughs> A new flavor like nothing she had ever tasted before. It was like joyfully, jo joyfully rolling down a grassy hill with the wind tazzling. <laughs> it was unbelievable. A new flavor like nothing she had ever tasted before. It was like joyfully rolling down a grassy hill with the wind tazzling. <laughs>